All right, we're gonna chill for a bit. Yo, how am I gonna do this video, man? I've been procrastinating on doing this video for a minute, but I'm finally here, finally on the couch in the office. If I bring you guys the top five, I could probably even draw it out to the top 10, man. But um, there's a lot of shoes. I probably just go over all the shoes I will purchase for under a hundred dollars at the Nike outlet, man. Stay tuned to that video, man. I'll see y'all in a bit. I gotta do some adjusting around here. You know what I mean? <laughs> all right. I am back. What's poppin', homies? It's your boy Frank Nitty back in the building, back in the sneaker room, back on this couch, back bringing you guys some new content. I'm doing the top, I don't know, man, top five Nike outlet pickups for under $100. Shoes that I would offer offer you guys or offer a suggestion of copping if you're on a budget or you're going back to school, you're a college student, or just something that you want to buy affordable or something that you would probably would cop but you didn't want to pay the outlet retail price, man. So this video is for the masters, man. People like myself who like to save money, man. So I'm trying to stop saying man all the time. Like, stop ending my sentences with a pronoun. Like, man, man. I say, but anyways, man. See, I can't help it, bro. I can't help it. But any old ways, we're going to talk about some shoes that I found in Nike Outlet. Now, this video stems from a couple of visits to the Nike Outlet, man. So I'm going to try to combine some footage here. So some of these spots are not the same Nike Outlet. So there's a different Nike Outlet. So I'll see if I can remember to mention the location where I see these shoes. And hopefully these shoes are still available. I'm also going to refer from not picking shoes that's on sale because, you know, to your point, if you see this video late or you go there, that sale may be over and the price is back to outlet retail. So you guys are not going to benefit from that, man. So there goes man again. So we're going to find some shoes that's very affordable for a great, great price, man. Damn it. I can't stop. Anyways, but first, here's my honorable mention, man. <laughs> Oh, man, man. Here's my honorable mention. So I found some shoes that were over $100, and I'm only bringing this to you guys just so you know if you want to spend that extra little bit of money, you know, like $10 over, you can cop some of these shoes. So let's get into it. Now, this is no particular order, just my thoughts and opinion. First up, we got these Air Max 95 and this unique camo. Well, it's not really unique in a sense. The shoes is a collab with Carhartt, and I like how they did this shoe. The execution is dope for me. I like the orange ear unit on the outsole. That's dope. I like the Nike swoosh on the back heel, and then you got the um, collaboration Carhartt type design. These are the Air Max 95 Carhartt. You can find them in the outlet. They're for 109, I believe. I got the video up here. I'm not looking at the video at the same time I'm recording this. So it may be 107, maybe 109. I'm just saying it's gonna be a little bit over $10 past my my amount. So if you guys can spend the extra money, this is a dope shoe to have. This was a collab sold out from Nike, but this is a, one of those sold out but available Nike outlet. Another option is these KD12s. Dope shoe. I won this shoe. These are the KD12 kids to be exact. And this shoe sold out on me too. Again, to be fair, I didn't try to get it on the sneaker app the day of release, but I was fortunate enough to find them in a Nike outlet. There's some other pairs and other colorways I would like to get. So if the price comes down, you may see me cop those. But this shoe also hit for $107, and I saw this most frequently in the outlet. Love that Volt colorway. And your boy also got some socks to match with it. These socks hit for $497, as you can see. Hope that was visible. So, yo, socks for $5. Don't forget to pick you up some socks, man. $5 in this shoe was hitting for 107 That out the way, man, let's comb over some shoes that you could find in your outlet for affordable and reasonable price. Got my phone, got my Angry Orchard. No particular order, just want to mention this. I found these shoes in my last Nike outlet visit, so you guys will definitely see that video here shortly. So this is a, this is a premature shoe that you probably haven't seen in any of my previous videos, or maybe you have, but I shed more light on it when, when that next outlet video drop, and that should be dropping within 24 hours from this video. And that is the Air Max 95 up temples. I think it's a 94 up temples, all white. And I forgot what these shoes are hitting for, but it was well below $100. And on top of that, they had additional 30% off. So these shoes were like around $57. I forget if they were 79 or 89. Don't quote me on that, but I think that's a dope pickup for that price if you're into nostalgia. If you remember the shoe back in the days, you was able to get it, cop it, or you know, we're Labor Day now, so you can wear white, I guess. So you can probably venture to a, a linen party or all white 
party and this would be a dope shoe to rock, my personal opinion. Uh, next, y'all remember those flight plastics that was in the NYX colorway? I found those on at the Nike outlet on International Drive. They was hitting there for 129, then the price went to like 100, 109 or 107. Now the price actually dropped down to $89. So if you like flight posits, they're available for you for under $100. I think that shoe is dope. I personally won't copy. I'm not a Knicks fan, more of a Nets fan or Nets fan, but uh, good price, good shoe. Uh, what else we got, man? What else we got? Oh. Those ISPA joints. I think I did shot that video. I think I did post that video already, man. This was the Nike outlet off of Bronson. They had the React highs in a sense, and they were ISPA joints. I'm not sure if that's a collaboration. I'm not sure what the ISPA stands for, but the outsole was peach. The upper was white. It was dope shoe, man. I believe that shoe was hitting for $89, if I'm not mistaken, man. So that's a dope shoe. Horrible shoe to have. Very comfortable. I own a pair of Reacts. Can't go wrong with them. Um, next up would be uh, those Air Max 90 slash 1s or Air Max 1 slash 90s. These are more of the teal colorway with the canvas toe box. Those joints were hitting for $65. I think that's a comfortable shoe if you wear Air Max 90s. Um, with the, and I also have the Air Max 1 uh, midfoot. So the combination of both is a hybrid shoe. But for $65, that's a definitely great, great price to purchase. Uh, shoe like that. Let's not forget those. Um, I think they're called Nike. Are they Air Max? I don't think they're Air Max, but they're the SC trainers, the Bo Jacksons. These was like hot lava pink with gray and white. They was hitting for $55 at the same Nike outlet as the previous shoe I shown, which is Nike outlet on Bronson, the one that had the old Carmelo image, even though he got traded, it still had it on there. Uh, but that outlet had those shoes, $54, $55 essentially. Um, multiple sizes, didn't have like uh, 12 though, but they had like 111 and a half and below. So if you got smaller feet, you can definitely benefit from copping those shoes. Dope price in my opinion. And the last but not least, well not least but in a sense, but I'm going to keep coming through to see what other shoes are available, which I do have a few other shoes I can talk about. Yo, if you got small feet, you can get some Air Jordan 11s for $89. These joints. These, I forgot what they call, but they Air Jordan 11 that came out maybe a year and a half ago. Not much people's feeling these shoes. You had this green or I don't even know what you want to call it, man. Moss green. It was pretty much, it's not aesthetically appeasing. Well, the colorway wasn't aesthetically appeasing. The shoe overall, the solo is dope. Um, you might have to do a custom on those shoes, but that's probably the cheapest you're going to find an Air Jordan 11 high, in my personal opinion. So $89 for those if you got small feet, if you're a child, youth, or someone that have that can rock an eight, multiple sizes in that pair. And you can find them at multiple outlets, man. So check your local outlets, see if they're available for you. Also, if you, again, if you like nostalgia, they have the uh, ear pennies there in the maroon and gold colorway, predominantly all maroon, white, and with a gold swoosh, right? I believe it had the gold swoosh, yes. Air unit on the back, and they were going for $60. No additional discounts unless you saw them on the hash wall, which I did it. They had a plethora of different sizes. So you can definitely cop those if you're into nostalgia. You like Anthony Hardaway or Penny, or you're from the Orlando area, even though the colors doesn't match it. But for that price, for nostalgia reason, that was hitting for 60, man. Oh, those Skylons. I think they're called Skylons. Those joints were hitting for $30, man. $30 for a pair of Nike shoes. And apparently, they're supposed to be comfortable. I can't remember if I try a pair on. I remember I was doing some outlet try-ons. I was doing videos. I was trying on a pair of shoes in the outlet based off of y'all request. I can't remember if that's one of the shoes I tried on. So I, I'm not going to say I did try them on to say if they are comfortable. But for $29, you can't go wrong, man. This colorway is all right. It's not the worst. The sole is okay. But for $29 for, you know, some beaters, some grocery getters, you know what I mean? You can definitely cop those, man. $30? Man. These are the Air Pippins. I'm not sure if these are Air Pippin 2s, but it's a full-length Air Max unit. The colorway is, I guess, flex. It's ugly colorway. A little bit of hit of red. Not a shoe I would buy, but they're for $55. If you're into that nostalgia, then definitely cop that shoe. That shoe is a very good price. That's the cheapest I have seen it. Now, would I buy it? Probably not. It's not something that I'll feel comfortable wearing. It's not my stilos, man. So, for y'all who do care for it, definitely pull up and cop. There was only one pair of Jordans I was able to find under $100, and that was the BMH uh, Jordan 2s. Those are black joints you probably see in your outlet. They were at 119 for a moment. Now they're at 99. I see them at multiple outlets for the same price. So I believe that's something you guys can cop, man. 
So there you go. We're probably about nine minutes in this video, or the video's probably roughly around nine minutes when I chop it down and edit, it's probably gonna be around nine minutes. I can go on with other shoes that I would picked up in the Nike outlet, probably. Oh, oh, I almost forgot, man. Yo, they have some purple Air Max 95 all suede joints I saw at the Violin International outlet. They were going for, I think, one sixty-five dollars That's a definitely good pickup if you like 95 or if you like an all-purple shoe. That's a good pickup, man. Price was great. Price point, no complaints there, man. Um, that's it. That's all I could think of on top of the head of shoes that are under $100 at Nike. Also give you guys some honorable mentions if you want to spend a little bit more. Splurge just a tad bit, you know what I mean? A cup of coffee, a McDonald's number two, you know what I'm saying? Over 100 you guys can cop some of those shoes as well. That was early in the video, so... Hope you guys didn't skip that. But other than that, that's it. Thank you guys for pulling up and watching this video. It took a while for me to do it. I was trying to figure out how I want to do this. And I want to give you guys a, like, multiple outlets. Not just one outlet I've been to, but multiple outlets of shoes I found affordable that was worth a pickup or a purchase, in my personal opinion. These are just some of the shoes that I would purchase off of my taste. So your taste may vary, depends, and your outlet may vary, depends on what your outlet currently have, man. Those are shoes that was in my outlet. So if you've been watching my videos, you saw some of these shoes um, throughout the video um, my, in my previous videos. I do got a new outlet video coming, so stay tuned to that. That's going to have some of the shoes I just shown um, for at new prices and new, new, new sneakers as well, man. But other than that, man, your boy's out of here. Thanks for pulling up watching this video. If you're new to this channel and like what you just saw, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and notification bell as well. Everybody else, man, stay. Uh, what I was going to say. Uh, yeah, keep leaving your comments down below. Your boy get back to you as soon as possible. Until then, until we meet again, tell me in front of this lens or in front of your TV screen or iPhones, Androids, computers, however you watch me. You already know my slogan. Good to go. It's a wrap.